Hi everybody! Yay! Um, welcome to your March 2020 reading. I am going to do my best to rush through as many readings as I can. As you guys know, I'm currently moving and I'm totally still moving. I'm not at my final destination yet, so I really hope I can get everything out as soon as possible. Thank you so much for being so patient. God bless you guys and you're in my thoughts and in God's heart. All right, so let's jump right in. Aries, if this reading is for you for the month of 2020, I mean, excuse me, the month of March 2020, then I'm definitely seeing a lot of loop-de-loop -loop thinking. I'm seeing a lot of, um, uh, um, what's the word? Uh, I guess it's cyclical, but not cyclical in the sense like something's ending and something's beginning. I'm seeing there's a karmic loop is what they're saying that's juxtaposed next to something new that wants to come in. And I'm going to show you that right now. God bless. So two cards off to the side. You guys know I like my cards on the side. Take a look here. The first one is, and forgive the lighting, the first one is the fifth ray of intellectual knowledge. Whenever this card comes up for me, Aries, this means, oh, I'm being told this is not just for Aries. Oops, hold on. It's for anybody who it resonates with. This is This is definitely going to be for more than Aries. So regardless of who you are, I'm going to open it up to everyone. Um, so... They're telling me that you've got this energy that's waiting to come in. You know what needs to be done. You know uh, where you are. I'm seeing the absence of people. Look, whoever this was that's that was here or whatever situation it was that was here, it's totally gone. It's on its way out. It's But still, it's kind of in your energy field. But it's almost like the energy itself isn't in there. It's, they're just more the psychic impressions, the, the memories, the imprints that are still there. So, for example, if you're done with a relationship, if you broke up, if something ended a while ago, you know, a lot of us have been trying to move that out of our energy field. And the person is gone right? The opportunity is done. It's closed. The energetic contract is fulfilled. However, yet we still have these imprints that are, uh, that may be playing in our mind. And that's what I'm seeing. That's looping a lot. This is loop to loop thinking. Here you are trying to ascend, trying to go into something new. And I have to be honest, you have already. This is not about needing to make a new, um, a, a new beginning the new beginning has already been made in fact look at right out the corner of, of our eye we see the zero card the fool card standing right next to the six of wands victory card they're trying to point out that you've already had this new beginning right but as we see here you can see the mirroring is there as well with this idea of loop the loops so in this card i'm seeing that you guys are, have already had this new beginning things are different in your energetic space in your physical space you've moved already you started that new job you're out of that relationship you there's been time and distance put between you and whatever cycle or karmic situation has ended and i'm seeing that you've dotted all your i's crossed all your t's and you've even been given space by the universe to call in something new whether it's a person place thing or situation but the issue is that you're still kind of feeling and experiencing these, these um, what can I say, karmic imprints, like I said. It's just like the memories might come up, right? Or you might be walking down the street and you see somebody that reminds you of the person, your person cheated on you with or just whatever, and it kind of triggers you. It's like a little bit of a jab or whatnot. But you have to know that that does not, and I'll say it again, that does not necessarily reflect the reality of what's going on. Just because you have an impression of somebody coming up doesn't mean they're thinking about you or that you should be getting back to them and this and that. These are just old loops playing and you know what it is with old loops some i don't know i'm making this up right now <laughs> i'm making this up right now but um it's true <laughs> you know what they say about old loops they come with words okay see you can quote me on that um what do i mean by that it means like when you have a loop to loop thinking it comes with old with words with it like oh um for example um uh if you Think about your ex out of the blue. It comes with words like, oh, um, he doesn't love me or, or, or I really lost that one or just whatever the thoughts are that are coming along with the visuals and the experience, experiencing of those karmic imprints that are just hanging out in your field. Whatever it is, don't pay any mind to it. Let it go. Because take a look at this. This is a chapter of your life that is closed. And I'm, I'm, you know what they're saying that is about to close. Imagine this beautiful master healing card. Whenever this card comes up, they're really going in on that healing. Um, this is healing of the cosmos. This is major karmic cycle ending. Look at that. Um, 
It's almost like he's about to shut this book like, mm, right? That's what I'm seeing here. And like I said, you've dotted your I's, you've crossed your T's. This is literally like nostalgia, but it's not so positive. A lot of you may be having what can be like nostalgia in the sense that old memories are coming up. This is that, that is this. But of course, it's probably old triggers, but it is not reflecting reality. Nobody's coming back. The job's not coming, being offered to you again. This is just the ending and you have to allow that to just clear out. So let's, let's all just push, 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 push out. Thank you, angels and guides, for helping us push out any energies that are there and that, you know, are trying to hang around. Take a look here at the bottom left. You've got this Ten of Cups emotional fulfillment and it's being crossed with this stagnation for some of you it's this means that this emotional fulfillment is it's got a little bit of the brakes on it as we were just talking about for some of you i'm getting this is an old lover who you know is still on the brain he's still trying to come back it you know i don't know what this is but for some of you you may actually still be dealing with somebody that you know the ships the the, the ship has passed and you need to get them up and out okay and that's what I'm seeing there. It's, you know, for most of you on this call, no one's in there anymore. It's done. It's everything's gone. But for some of you, everything's gone. The energy's gone. Everything except that. I, I got to be honest, guys. The word that's coming to mind is that bum. Male, female, gender, non-conforming. It doesn't matter. That bum. That's the person on your couch. Like, dude, we're done. I already told you I want you out. You, we don't even talk. We don't. It's like something that's still there. But like, how is it still here? get rid of it that's what i'm seeing it's almost like taking a broom okay random random prop that i have and just getting it out of there all right um all right so let's move on like i said uh this is a time for a lot of you to come into some new things let's pull these three together god bless because they seem to want to okay i'm <laughs> behind my camera probably precariously so take a look what are you guys waiting for? Guys, you pick your card. What do you want? What do you want, honey bun? Do you want new love? We got love. You want to move in the sacred service? We got sacred service. You just want to move somewhere, try something new, get out there, be a different person, whatever, step into a new paradigm. We got that too. You want all three? Three for a dollar. That's what spirit is telling you. They're saying, listen, we've got it. We have what you want. Guys, you have all these beautiful cards. Um, I was going to say Aries, but it's for anybody because Spirit is saying this is for quite a few people. We've got the Eight of eight of Wands with its fast-moving energy. We've got partnerships here, new beginnings. Um, we've got this, knowing what needs to be done. And look at that ascension. This is, But I have to be honest. Um, they're also saying that at this time, there it is. That's the choice card. I was going to say, I feel it here. They're saying you have a choice to make. Bloink. Seven of Cups usually speaks of choices, having options, could be speaking of, commu uh, um, not, I'm sorry, excuse me, um, confusion at times, right? Uh, earlier today in a reading that I did for a private client, it came up as tests, having tests that will present itself to her. So in your reading, guys, God bless you, what this is showing is Spirit is saying that you are going to have tests, and excuse me, not tests, <laughs> I love myself. I love myself. Um, options. Along with this eight of wands. This is fast moving energy. Look at how it lines up with the heart transmission. You've done it well. You've made your transition. You've ascended. You've, you've changed your life. But now you do have to sweep out that old energy. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, sweep out that new energy, that old energy, and step into the goodness. Now, why I why why I feel like there's this choice energy because on this right side we've got all these amazing things coming up under this, and then on the left side of this fast moving energy we've got all these womp womp. So you can imagine how there could be a little bit of a tur not turmoil, but a little bit of a conflict. And in fact, I don't see the five of wands conflict energy here. But so we won't say that it's that strong, but there's a little bit of a hmm. And I keep getting the word commitment. There's a commitment. Okay, that's what it is. It's about it's like what do you want and what do you allow what are you going to commit yourself to? And that makes total sense as it's falling right underneath that heart transmission. 
what is it that you want to move forward and commit to yourself to? Because on this hand, you can commit yourself, dear viewer, to having this walking away energy, but still holding on to something and still being trapped in um, imprisoned thinking, right? Obsessive thoughts, low self-worth, um, uh, looped thinking. Looped thinking, again, is when you get into uh, um, a set of beliefs, a frame of mind where these thoughts just keep coming up over and over and over again. If I, for example, okay, the only thing is this person's gone. Yes, they cheated, whatever. But it's kind of like, if I were worth something, they wouldn't have done that. And I must not be worth anything because they did that. Why did they do that? And I hate myself. And, I, and it just keeps going over and over and over. One minute you're up and the next minute something happens. It triggers you. You get right back into that loop-de-loop -loop thinking. It could be about anything. But the presence of it, its mere presence, means that you're in that eight of swords loop thinking obsessive thoughts um poor perceptions right and then sometimes because of that we, we end up holding on to things or we hold on to things and um as a result we um end up having these thoughts but look at this can you imagine the tension between these two Look at this, you're starting with an eight and you're moving away from something that no longer suits you. But then you cut your progress in half when you keep holding on to the things that you need to be letting go of. Now notice how the card is being held like this, the eight of cups walking away, but yet we only see one, two, three, four, four cups being walked away from. Meanwhile, over here, he's holding on to the other four items. You need to leave all cups in the distance. Okay, that's what needs to happen. You need to leave all cups in the distance so that you can keep going and step into the nine of cups, and which is your wishes fulfilled, and the ten of cups, which is emotional fulfillment. Remember we saw here, God bless you guys, we have the ten of cups energy right here. It's on the board, but it's like, boom, we've got this stagnant energy right in front. Why? Because of this. We've got this four of pentacles holding on to something. Now, it's interesting they keep saying the word commitment because here's the commitment card, this um, hierophant card, and notice how it's stuck along with this one. So I actually don't use spreads in my readings. I, I allow the cards to fall where they need to fall, and you see that they tend to fall together because they're energetically ordered, God bless, right? And so as they were saying earlier, it is based on your commitment. What are you going to commit yourself to once you have this fast-moving energy? This is the power of the universe behind you. What are you going to choose to focus your attention on? Because where your attention goes, um, so does your manifestation, right? And so if you are still so focused on committing to not having progress, then guess what? You know, if you're still holding on to things you should be letting go of, that's your commitment to not having progress. That is literally the stagnation that keeps you grounded where you are and unable to fly along with this beautiful eight of wands energy. Now, if you were to be able to fly along with this, not, not be able to because you can, but if you were to fly along with this beautiful eight of wands energy, look at what you would be coming into. Partnerships, new beginnings, victory these beautiful cards are balanced here and they both are like on a fulcrum but how you how you um which one you it's almost like if there are two fighting dragons the dragon that you feed is the one that wins now i know that this is this seems like a love card because it's the the lover's card literally however remember the lover's card is about partnerships it's about agreements to me, what this means is being able to finally be aligned. I'm going to say it again. Say it again, Jay. Being able to finally be aligned with people, places, things, and situations that serve you. I see this angel saying yes. And then it, the angel like slaps this guy's butt like yes. He's like, ooh. <laughs> Look, that's the, that's the way the angel is behaving. I'm not going to say anything more than that, right? Your point is they're like, get excited, get excited about it, get excited about moving, get excited about meeting someone new, get excited about trying a new style, just, you know, get excited about moving on from people, people you thought were going to be your one. I thought he was my one. I thought she was my one. 
you know, whatever it is, you have to be willing to make a new start to have this victory. And that's what Spirit is saying here today, if this reading is for you. Now, taking a look further, connected to the stagnation card and the commitment card, um, remember it means that your stagnation is, is blocking, if this reading is for you, okay? If it's not for you, then obviously you're fine, right? But if this reading is for you, you've got 10 of cups here already, but um, it's almost like it's hanging right there waiting for you to open the door. And it's almost like you're committing to not focusing on that 10 of cups. What are you committing to? You've got this, this um, uh, what am I saying? <laughs> this hermit card, yeah. You've got this hermit card. And then you've got this two of wands, which is about planning, right? Now, as I look at it, this to me shows you here as the hermit, right? Which is lovely because when you're in the hermit position, a lot of us, we're like, oh my God, alone. Yes, that is one of the stipulations of being in the hermit position. But we also have to remember that being in the hermit position allows us a certain vantage point. We're able to plan. We're able to see. We're able to experience the truth of things. You know, something as simple as telling someone, giving someone an ultimatum, whatever it is. And if they don't follow you and they don't, meet you halfway then there's your answer right but you couldn't do that if you didn't step back right and so that's the power of a hermit the hermit is also one who's in meditation and repose they're open to hearing things um, and once they uh, sequester themselves like this then God is able to just come in and structure the environment so that they can feel and see things that they need for their highest good and I'm being shown to give you this card guys the paradigm shift so for those of you who are really really trying to affect change in your life effect change in your life you've got your answer here is to get alone okay however that is for you whatever that means for you and you can ask your blessed angels and guides that's your answer okay some of you are being asked to step into the role of teacher as well some of you may be card readers you may be um, healers, you may be by profession, a teacher or something like that. Whatever it is, if you have a passion project that involves helping others um, and, and just to just creating change, step into that. That will be your way of, of di directly, what would I say, connecting to the socket where source energy can just bring you as much of that pure source energy as possible and you can just move faster you can think clear it's just amazing so you have to get into hermit mode but what i'm hearing hearing i'm seeing <laughs> i love how they said hearing what i'm seeing here is that um you're here and you are finally show, um, shining your light here and spirit is showing you and they're telling you ideas about what you can be in the future how you can be notice the light here is shining on this person this is you um if you choose to listen and there so you might be getting a lot of ideas for some of you looking for a job you might be getting ideas on what kind of industry to move into if you are trying to heal yourself you're getting ideas about how you can go about doing the healing for example if you are planning to have a baby you know someone might talk to you about uh being a uh, hiring a doula or just whatever it is in your life you're going to be getting advice in the month of march you're going to be, be seeing advice getting advice you're going to be seeing models uh behavior um, how can i say people modeling behavior for you you're going to see examples unfolding right be examples unfolding right before your eyes it's kind of like spirit is saying this is the life you can live and they're showing it to you they're saying that's what you need to be more committed to because as you do that you're going to also and i hear the word unwittingly unwittingly unburden yourself the ten of wands is about unburdening yourself imagine the, imagine this guy carrying all his burdens around right he can't even see look and then he's just walking walking because he has all of this and then when he finally lets it down if he has been following his guidance, right? Look what's in the distance. By the time he finally lets it down, he sees right there, oh my God, there's a castle. This is exactly where I need to be. But if he's just carrying his burdens around, he's not walking away fully from things. He's just carrying all of them. He's still stuck in his negative thinking. Guess what? He's going to, it's not going to be as, as good. It's not going to, he's probably going to 
have those burdens taken away because you know when spirit is like you need to let go of something and you're not letting go of it what comes in the t word tower all right and when the tower comes in it doesn't feel good so right now you're in this position to really follow spirit's advice um get into hermit mode allow spirit to teach you to show you what life you could be having allow in this beautiful fast moving energy so that you can get rid of this stagnation commit yourself to your progress to a new beginning it'll be absolutely absolutely beautiful and look at this we've got the other victory card from the tarot the five of swords laying right underneath the eight of swords they're saying even if you just get rid of a few of those um, negative thought patterns, you would have a victory. Yes, it will be a hard one victory. Yes, they know that a lot of us are working with pain. We're working with broken hearts. We're working with whatever is going on with you. Some of you are working with financial restrictions, right? Whatever it is, they are saying, even if you start letting go of some of those things, some of those burdens, you're going to still have a victory. They're like, get started. Look at that. To me, this looks like they're having, H-A-L-V-I-N-G, halving, how do you say that, guys? <laughs> um, having, having, oh, anyway, they're cutting in half. <laughs> this, um, this thinking that you have, the word that wanted to come to mind is inane. Wow, God, strong words. Inane thinking, okay, which sounds very close to insane thinking. Right? You remember that um, A Course in Miracles describes us as living in insanity because our thoughts are not really our thoughts and they're not real thoughts. They are just um, ideas made up based on past events. And, you know, just, you know, guys, I endorse. I endorse A Course in Miracles. And so check it out. But it's insane thinking. And that's what we have to kind of move away from. Um, now, they're also acknowledging that for a lot of you guys, take a look at underneath this um, sacred partnership slash the lover's card, we have the four. I'm seeing a lot of eights and fours in this reading. Look, eight, 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 four, four, right? Is there anything else here, right? They're saying underneath this lover's card, we have the four of uh, swords, he looks really lonely there. The Four of Swords speaks about taking, needing to take a rest. This is the second rest card that we have. This, well, actually, all three of these these lower energy cards or resting cards are here. We have the Four of Swords, we've got the Hermit, and we have, where is he? The um, Hanged Man right here, right? So, But I love the Four of Swords. That's when life gives you some bed rest. That's when they're like, take a break from whatever it is. Get your mind right. Meditate take a rest things will come through your dreams be passive allow that's the card that says allow and they're saying listen we don't need you to take off your shoes we don't need you to whatever just lay down in the bed and rest no one's asking you to take everything off get into your nightgown brush your teeth blah 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 because for a lot of you guys you might be turned off by the whole process that you have to undergo to get rest or get into bed or whatever they're saying no we are just asking you to slow down and just get on your back and lie down close your eyes let us come in they're pointing to us that first we were at the eight of swords which talks about insane thinking the trapped thinking obsessive thoughts halved into the five of swords as you release some stuff right as you start to commit to healing as you start to um allow god to come in and as you relinquish some of these thoughts, some of these behavioral patterns, some of these ideologies, now they're showing, boom, we're down to the four of swords where they're taking away another sword and more like you are relinquishing in it where you are agreeing to go the distance and just lay back. They're saying just lay back. All we need is one step and we've got you and we'll take care of you. And that's the, what they're saying here. They're also acknowledging that they know that a lot of you will feel lonely and that you are coming out of a partnership or that you'd much rather love to be around people and not be so sequestered and things like that. And somehow I'm being uh, directed to the coronavirus thing, situ that situation right now. They're giving a little bit of a shout out at, to know that there is a lot of fear going around about the virus and they do want you to take extra precautions. And that does mean to stay home, you know, if you don't need to really be out there. But at the same time, part of me wants to say at the same time, they don't want you to 
you know, be get into fear mode and be weird about it and all of this. But at the same time, they do say that there is a need for um, some extra protection at this time. So, of course, washing your hands and all of that. Um, but so they're saying that they know that that topic makes us uncomfortable and it makes me uncomfortable as well because you guys know me I'm just like listen God don't make me have to go jumping through hoops if this is just a whole bunch of people being hysterical which it usually is God bless anyway but um they are saying that this one does need um, some extra precautions okay so um bringing it back here they're saying that yes they're saying definitely a nod to certain vicinities there are certain viewers they're saying that might be at risk of course all of us may be in areas where we um where there may be a risk but our probability uh is lower as opposed to some of you who may be watching where the probability may be higher it's possible that we all could get sick blah 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 but the probability um for us viewers is going to be different depending on your sacred chart, depending on where you are, depending on just whatever, right? And so they're saying to keep in mind that there are certain things that do need to come to pass and that they won't all come to fruition, but it's good to be safe and, and stay on the safe side, okay? Because there is such a thing as free will. And so they're saying that they're appealing to your free will at this time, that if you're free and if you exercise free will in the sense of not going out and being weird and doing strange things at a time when you should be exercising caution, um, that would be great. Okay, so for example, if you just heard, oh my God, this place has like this many people and it's a surge, don't be like, well, let's go have brunch there. You know, like, come on, think about it, right? <laughs> let's let's chill at home and, and have brunch at the crib, you know? So that's what they're saying, exercise your free will, um, but do so with, with caution, the appropriate caution, be smart about it, okay? And so they're saying that they understand a lot of us may be feeling a little antsy, we're, we're, we're alone, we're not getting to be mixed with people, but they're saying still, it's there's still going to be um i'm hearing a bypass that's for somebody there's still going to be a bypass okay so i want to pause here and maybe somebody here is wondering if there's still going to be um you know what the, the heart bypass surgery that is scheduled so maybe some of you are like is it going to happen is it not whoever this is for that they're saying yes they're still going to have that and it will happen whether or not it's delayed or not is you know we don't know but they're saying it will happen so that's that's for somebody out there um but they're also saying that there is still information that can be gleaned during this time where we are being sequestered whether it's for just spiritual reasons or spiritual and physical like your health reasons okay god bless they're showing um the knight of cups the knight of cups and the knight of cups here has this cute little cup at, on the one hand, he falls right under the, the Fool card. Remember, the Fool has nothing. <laughs> He's starting a new beginning. And so imagine that um, this Knight of Cups is coming with an empty cup, right? But at the same time, um, what they're trying to say is remember that you still, even as you make this new beginning, you still have something to offer. You still are going, in other words, you're still going to go into this new beginning with you, with your personality, with your who you are. Um, but your cup is going to appear empty so that you can receive new things. But they're reminding you that you are not empty. You have something to offer wherever you go. They're, they're wanting me to make a connection now with this beautiful Six of Wands victory card. There's, oopsies. Oh, <laughs> they're showing you worked hard for it. You see how it fell here? You made good choices and you have, that to me is the many hard lessons card. You've made, you've gotten many hard lessons under your belt. Um, you've had victory. You have something to offer, even if you are going into something new, like a new job, um, a, a new whatever, a new relationship, whatever it is, a new city. You have something to offer, but still be open. So for some of you, you may be moving into this new place, this new space, energetic space, and whatever your new beginning is, and you may be kind of carrying this this. I'm hearing age, just age with you. Yeah, but I was going to say, kind of carrying this idea like, well, I know what I've done. I've got degrees and I'm older than the people in this office. And, and I know, yeah, but they're saying, yes, that's true. But you're in a new place and you have something to learn. Otherwise, you wouldn't be moved to a new place. 
you know it's not always like that you're moved to the place just to teach people like no you're there to learn as well so this is also a little bit of a like slow your roll a little bit slow that roll okay just a little bit and take it step back with the ego but at the same time be open and remember that you do have something to offer i'm seeing that for some of you you're um yes you've had a victory and everything and yes you're starting something new but i'm hearing that it's a step in the right direction your process is not over yet imagine this cute little guy super cute three of wands he's in this port city right now he's just come a long way and he's in this port city now but he still has another leg of the journey to go but you know what look at him he's dressed up he's like well you know i'm looking at where i've come from and it's great and I know that I'm still I'm still waiting for my ship to come in so that I can make the rest of my journey. But you know what? I did good. I did real good. <laughs> and I'm going to dress up tonight and I'm going to go out and hang out with the town's people in this port city. I'm going to enjoy myself while I'm here. Look, look how it's cutting off the hermit card. There's the hermit card cut off right he's like i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna enjoy myself and then when my ship comes in i'm gonna get on my ship enjoy myself and head on to the next part of my journey now yes it just because you're in hermit mode doesn't mean you can't still have connections where you are okay and just because you've had a victory guys which you all have if you're watching this video and it resonates with you just because you've had that victory doesn't mean that you um are at the end of your journey okay there's still most likely another leg of this journey god bless you okay so guys um i am gonna do my very best janelle best <laughs> to get to the rest of the readings um but i literally as you can see have very little space you guys know i like my setup you know i'm a perfectionist and i'm doing it on the run right now so i'm just jumping in here's aries um aries as I, or whoever, as I end your reading, I just want to let you know that you are being invited to connect to spirit. Spirit is trying to get you to release any last minute stuff. Look at how beautiful this card is. Bing, bing, bing. You're still, you still have those imprints. And so keep magnifying this, which is non-denominational. Okay. Keep bringing that in. Keep bringing in your higher self and source energy and all that. And keep release this stagnant energy. And you can get rid of these heavy, dense things that are just bleh. And just keep going. So that is your month of March 2020 for you beloved viewer. And remember, you are lovable because you exist. Okay? Isn't that what unconditional love is? <laughs> the condition is that you need only exist. And that's it. <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, love you, and I will, I guess, chat with you later. Mwah. Bye.